What's up guys, this is Tarek here, the 3D Printing Geek. Today we are going to talk about the Gita Gate 30 3D Printer. The build volume is 320 on the X and Y axis and 420 on the Z axis. It comes with a medium sized Bodan tube setup. It is made up of all metal frame, very easy to assemble, takes maximum around 15 minutes to 20 minutes to assemble it. It had got dual Z-axis threaded rods, a filament detector, an all metal hot end with a decent cooling fan along with a 0.4 mm nozzle. Printer supports an auto bed level sensor but comes with an additional 10 bucks when you buy the printer. Printer also features a full color touch screen which I personally think is a really nice feature. Changing the filament is really easy using the menu provided on the touch screen. All you need to do is set the desired temperature and then use the button provided on the touch screen to push the filament through. The printer also supports a power outage resume function which I think is a really nice feature to save time and a lot of frustration. You can download an app called Easy Print 3D for the PC and Mac which is a custom slicer developed by Keytech. You can also set up your custom profiles in Cura or Simplify 3D to use with the printer. I will make sure to include more details in the video description below, including the Cura and Simplify 3D profiles to give you a head start. Let us have a look at what is included in the box. The printer comes in a well packed box, everything you will need is included in there, including this well designed user manual. Then you will find the proximity sensor only if you added it to the cart. Then you will find the base of the printer attached with the heated bed. A well designed power supply unit along with some extra parts including this power cable. Then you will find a GTEC branded mouse pad. Last but not the least you will find the extruder attached to the main gantry of the printer. The printer came with the auto bed leveling sensor but sadly it did not work. To be honest I don't think that you even need an auto bed leveling sensor as you already got such a nice function of assisted bed leveling built into the firmware. PLA being the most commonly used 3D printing filament, it only made sense for me to start uh, testing the 3D printer with some PLA filament. As my first print, instead of a calibration cube, I started with this tiny model of a dog which I designed to test how good the printer performs right out of the box. Then I went ahead and printed this soap holder which I designed to test how good the printer would perform to deal with some overhangs and more detailed design this time. So it's been good so far, it was able to print these two models without any problems as the design was really simple. This time I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging for the printer to see how reliable the printer is for prints that will last over the course of few days instead of few hours. So here is a model that I designed of a historic monument carved into the stone which is I think a good test for the printer as this took around 65 hours of non-stop printing and uh, it turned out great. You can see it for yourself. The design had a very detailed look to it with all these bumps and pillars along with some overhangs which had to have a lot of support structure to print successfully. This was printed at a 0.2 mm layer height with 20% infill at a 50 mm per second speed over a time span of 65 hours. Behind me you can see around 300 plus hours of 3D printed models that were all printed on the Gitech 830 over the course of 2 weeks of non-stop 3D printing.
I also printed this Venus Gemello model from my mini factory along with a custom model which were both printed over the course of few days each. The printer had no issues handling this extremely challenging task of non-stop printing for the last 2 weeks. Then it was time to test the tolerance and accuracy of the printer. So I went ahead and designed these print in place uh, blockchains to see how accurate the printer is. As you can see these are uh, different tolerances. The printer was successful in printing those without any problems. This tells us how accurate the printer is. Okay so printing large objects is relatively easy compared to small tiny objects. I went ahead and printed this tiny baby Groot model. This tiny Groot model was printed on the GeeTech A30. Next I printed with some PETG filament and finally I got my first layer addition problem which resulted in a failed print. Though I was able to get a really neat and decent print later of this frog model with minor and almost hair like stringing. I also printed with some exotic biodegradable filaments like coffee, hemp, beer, copper, wood and the printer had no issues handling those kind of prints which tells us the versatility of the printer and to be able to handle these kind of filaments. No printer in the market is 100% perfect so definitely there are some things that I think GTEC needs to focus to improve their printer. For example, when I was testing the power outage resume feature this print decided to get stuck right where it stopped and never resumed. I also had this incident where I noticed that the Z-axis motor was not stable and a little bit shaky due to a missing hook that attaches it to the gantry. Which resulted in this weird situation where I had to unassemble the whole gantry to locate the missing hook. It's very clear that the quality control needs a lot of improvement in GTEC. The printer is not very loud but it's always a good thing to make the printer more silent especially when you have prints running for 24 hours. I really feel that adding the extrusion multiplier option right into the touch screen will be an added advantage for the advanced users. Having an enclosed hot end I think is not the best solution. In case of jams you have to unassemble the whole thing to reach the hot end. If you are somebody who does not have a lot of patience, uh, don't want to go through the hassle of assembling a printer from scratch, if you are looking for something uh, with a decent big print volume, you want a printer that is reliable and won't let you down in circumstances where the time is of more value, I would definitely recommend you to go with a GTEC A30. The link will be in the description below. It's an affiliate link with GTEC which will not cost you anything but it will help the channel. If you are new around here, consider subscribing to the channel as I will be posting more of uh, some cool new stuff coming up. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.